the science guy. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. This magnifying glass is making my eye look big. Now, why is that? I don't know. Please consider the following. Okay. When light enters something like air, water, glass, or plastic, it slows down a little. And when it slows down, it changes direction. See how one eye is lower than the other? See? Take a look at this. Here are three straight beams of light. When they go into the piece of plastic straight, they come out straight. But if the plastic is tilted, the beams of light get tilted. See, they change direction so they come out this side offset. Now, what would happen if the piece of plastic didn't have straight sides, but had a curved side, like a magnifying glass? Well, the light would change direction, right? Hello. Well, it's not too often we get an introduction with Bill Nye. So uh, let's take full advantage of this and just hop right in. Lenses. He, he changed the lens in the video. He added a curved lens or a curved piece of glass to those light rays. There was going to be something different, but I, I thought maybe we should take a look at it instead of letting Bill explain everything. So we've talked a little bit about refraction and how light can be bent. How do lenses affect the behavior of light? Now, Bill mentioned something a little bit in his video. He talked about refraction. So when we add a lens, the light will be bent depending on the type of lens we use and which direction it goes in. Before we get into any more about which type is which, let's take a look at what a lens is. Now, a lens is a piece of curved glass or other transparent material that causes light to refract or bend. Uh, camera lenses, everybody's seen and thought of a camera lens. The uh, uh, contact lens, some of you might have in your eye at some point in the day, is definitely a lens. Uh, one that you don't touch very often and you don't play with very often is the lens in your eye. Uh, that one your body controls and you have some control over as well. But that too bends or refracts light. Okay? And by studying the behavior of light when it does refract, we can study what happens to light when it passes through that lens because we know that when light refracts, it bends. Where it bends to is what we can study. There's uh, two things that are going to really affect how much a, a lens will refract or bend light. It is the shape of that lens and the material that it is made from. Now we're going to ignore the material for a little bit. We'll assume that all the lenses that we talk about are the same material, glass, plastic, uh, magical hard jello, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we're going to focus on the shape. Just like in mirrors, there are two shapes of lenses. There are concave lenses and there are convex lenses. Just as we did with mirrors, we'll start with concave lenses. Now, taking a look at this picture here, you wouldn't think this was concave. But if you look at it, both sides of this lens shown here curve inward. Doesn't matter which side, but it caves in. This is our concave lens. It's a lens that is thinning in the center. Okay. Now, because of this design, when light strikes from, let's say, the left side of the image to the right. When it hits the lens, it doesn't bounce back like in a mirror. Instead, when light strikes a lens, it will pass through the lens. And it's because of the shape of the outside of the lens, as well as the material it's made of, that it will change the path. And in this case, a concave lens will actually diverge the light. It will spread out. So it'll go in this direction shown like that. Okay. Now remember, a concave mirror brought the light together. Concave lenses spread the light out. They are opposite. And to give you an idea of what that would look like if you actually did pass light through a lens, it would look something like this. There's a concave lens. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six beams of light there. And when they strike the lens, they pass through it and spread out. So where do you see these types of lenses? Well, these types of lenses are in materials like telescopes, glasses, and binoculars. All of these allowing you to see things further away. Okay, So concave lenses will allow you to see things that are farther uh, from your uh, normal vision. A convex lens uh, bulges. 
in the center. It doesn't come get thinner, it gets wider. So a convex lens curves outward. This design causes, sun, uh, causes light rays or sun rays to refract towards the center. So when light comes from the left side of this image and passes through the lens, the light rays converge when they go through the lens. They come together and create a focal point. In convex mirrors, they spread the light out. Convex lenses bring the light together to a focal point. Again, if you were to pass light through a lens using a ray box or, or a six individual lasers, this is what the light pattern would look like, coming together at a focal point. Okay. Now these types of images would really be able to allow you to see things a lot better, to be able to uh, uh, zoom in, so to speak. The other ones allowed you to see from far away. Examples of a convex lens, magnifying glass, glasses again, a uh, microscope, and there's one other type of convex lens that we'll talk about. And I'm sure I don't have to do too much describing. I think you've probably already been able to figure it out. So now we have concave lenses, convex lenses, concave mirror, convex mirrors. How, how are we going to get this all straight? Okay, so let's take a look at this, uh, this table here. I hope that it'll help solidify your thinking on how lenses and mirrors uh, are different when they're concave or convex. Let's look at concave first. A concave mirror, shaped like this, will do what to the light? It will create a focal point. Okay, the light coming in will strike the curved surface, coming to a focal point. Concave lens, light passes through this lens and it will spread out. In a convex mirror, light strikes the surface of the mirror and spreads out. In a convex lens, light passes through and comes to a focal point. So as you can see, if we get rid of all the arrows here, we take a look at just the lenses, or just the diagram, sorry. A concave mirror and a convex lens behave the same way. A concave lens and a convex mirror behave the same way. The opposite type of mirror or opposite type of lens is the same. The path of light will be the same. Okay. If that's a little bit uh, sketchy or a little confusing, uh, we'll, we'll certainly discuss this in class and give you some examples so you can see this a little bit better with your own eye, your own uh, convex lens. Okay. So that's lenses uh, in, a, in a nutshell. Uh, Come back uh, next time for the next uh, uh, screencast on eyeballs.